Okay, today we're going to talk about types of discontinuities. And uh, what that means is pretty much if a, a function is continuous, that means uh, in layman's terms, I can draw the graph of the function without having to uh, pick up my pencil. So it's a nice smooth curve. So a discontinuity is where there's going to be breaks in the graph. Uh, and there's actually two types of discontinuities. And the first one is a removable discontinuity. And we're going to abbreviate that RD. And visually on the graph, this is a hole in the graph. Uh, these are also the x values that make the denominator and the numerator equal to zero. And these are the ones that can be factored out or canceled. And that's pretty much the key one right there. The factors or terms that can be canceled out are the ones that can be removed from the function. So a removable discontinuity, uh, again, an RD, are the ones that can be factored out and removed. And we're going to see some examples here later uh, after we talk about the next type. Because if we only have two types, one's removable. The, as you guessed it, the other one's going to be a non-removable discontinuity. And we're going to abbreviate that as an NRD. And... These are asymptotes on the graph or jumps or gaps that happen on the graph. So visually, you'll pretty much most of the time, you're going to see asymptotes that are going to be on the graph uh, for this one. These are the x values that only make the denominator equal to 0. And there's no uh, algebra to cancel anything here. So we have two types. We have removable, the ones that can be factored out, and a non-removable. These are the ones that stay put in the denominator. So let's look at about four examples here and try to figure out what kind of discontinuities we have. Uh, we'll look at an analytical approach and a, a visual approach as well, a graphical. So our first example here, we start with a very basic f of x equals 1 over x. Now we know from previous classes, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, early on pre-calc, um, we know that x pretty much cannot equal zero in the bottom right here because we know that that's you know we've been told over and over again that you can't have zero in the bottom so actually that value right there x equals zero now we couldn't do any kind of factoring or nothing could cancel out so at x equals zero that is a non-removable discontinuity well, again abbreviated nrd and if we actually look at the graph here we can see we have an asymptote going right down the middle here at x equals zero so that one, again, no, no uh, analytical things we can do. Algebraically, we could cancel things out. So we just look in the bottom right here, and we know x cannot equal 0. So at x equals 0, we have a non-removable discontinuity, which, again, wound up being an asymptote for the graph. Let's look at another one where we have to do a little bit more algebra for. Next example is x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. Now, we always try to simplify or factor things first. So we know that at the difference of squares on the top there, we've got x minus 1 times x plus 1. And we know that after doing that, we can actually cancel out the x plus 1s. Now, again, if we remember from the previous slide, the ones that cancel out or the ones that are being removed, those are removable discontinuities. Now, what's the value of it? You take the 0 of that uh, little part or that factor there. So at x equals negative 1, we have a non or excuse me, a removable discontinuity. Uh, what's left, as you can see, the simplified form is just x minus 1. And we know if we graph that from algebra 1, that's just a line. But if we actually put this whole thing into our graphing calculator and we graphed it, we're going to see that there's a hole at that x equals negative 1. And that's what we said that a removable discontinuity shows up as on the graph. So that x equals negative 1 right here, we have our hole. Let's look at one, uh, again, that has to do some factoring for us. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 10 over x squared minus 8x plus 12. And we know if we factor the top here, we're going to get x minus 5 and x minus 2. Those are factors of 10 that add up to negative 7. And then on the bottom here, factors of 12 add up to negative 8. That's going to be x minus 6 and x minus 2. So there's the simplified form of this. And we know right now that the x minus 2s can cancel out. So that tells us right now that we have a removable discontinuity at x equals 2. And then we look what's left over. Now, we don't care about the top. We only look at the bottom there because we know we can't have zeros on the bottom. So what makes the bottom zero here for x minus 6? We have a non-removable discontinuity 
at x equals 6. So actually in this function, we had two types of discontinuities for both, and that's okay. We had a removable at x equals 2 because those could be factored out, and a non-removable at x equals 6, so that one that could not be factored out. So we know we're going to have a whole at x equals 2, and we know we're going to have an asymptote at x equals 6. So if we take a look at this graph, there's our hole at x equals 2, and there's our asymptote happening at x equals 6. And then our last example that we're going to take a look at, kind of a trick question we got uh, from Trig here. We have the graph of sine x, and we know that if we look at the graph of the sine of x, we got a nice smooth curve here. So right now, there are no discontinuities. So we can say this is everywhere continuous. There are no discontinuities. There's no breaks. There's no jumps. There's no asymptotes in this graph. We know from pre-calc and our trig uh, section that the, the sine wave is a nice smooth curve that just keeps going on and on and on. So there you have it. Those are your two types of discontinuities, removable and non-removable discontinuities.